this virus is mutating extremely fast. And so we, we need to keep track of it because if it becomes different enough, the vaccine is going to have to be adapted. All right, researchers are working to learn more about two new COVID variants that were just discovered in an LSU health lab. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Cherise Gibson. Well, these new variants are subvariants of Omicron, which has been driving the latest COVID surge. How the team of LSU health researchers will have to monitor more COVID samples to figure out where they came from and how they're spreading. Erica Ferrando joining us now with more. Erica, what do we know about this so far? Well, Sharice, this afternoon I got to meet with the co-chair of the Precision Medicine Lab at LSU Health New Orleans, whose team discovered these new variants. And this is so new, it's too soon to say whether they could spread or spark a new surge. And that's why the team will monitor these variants until we know how significant they are. Inside the LSU Health New Orleans Precision Medicine Lab. Dr. Lucio Milia uses this machine to break apart the genetic makeup of anywhere from 50 to 100 Louisiana COVID tests a week. It reveals the DNA of each sample. We can find out how different it is from the other viruses that we have been sequencing before and whether it's a new member of the family. And last week, four samples revealed two new COVID variants that have never been detected before. We looked into the global database of subvariants and we were unable to find them. The variants now called BE1 and BF1 are subvariants of Omicron. The appearance of these new ones, uh, a total of four cases, was a surprise. Uh, and we're now going to have to track them. Because they're so new, Dr. Melia doesn't know what's different about these variants, how contagious they are, or how sick they could make you. That's why he will keep monitoring them to see if cases increase. We don't know yet uh, what this means, uh, and it will depend on whether or not these start spreading. It's still unknown how they originated. Dr. Melia says they either came from outside Louisiana, mutated in a new variant inside a COVID patient, or came from an animal. The virus that causes COVID doesn't just infect humans, uh, it can infect rodents like mice and rats, it infects cats, it infects mink. His biggest message is to take this discovery as a sign that COVID is still present in our community. It's not over, it's not going to be over. For now, the best thing that people can do is if, if they're not vaccinated, they should be vaccinated. Now, Dr. Mila says they're really not testing as many samples as they would like since COVID testing is down. So he's asking people who think they may have COVID or test positive through an at-home test to get an official PCR test too to help them track these variants. All right, Erica. Thank